Hello there everyone, Lucamus Prime here, so it's time for another Legacy Super Bowl and Captain Freeman and Contrary will call it going to be for Deathstroke from the movie's DLC pack. Here he is, so this is how he appears in the post pit scene of Justice League, and I must say we did a great job designing him, look at that. It's just, just like a different movie, yeah, that's such a great design. So, what can you do? Well, he pretty much has the exact same abilities as the base game, Deathstroke, I think, yeah. I mean, has it has the same idle animations and jumping animations too. The fire from his rifle, as well, just like the base game version. Sets his mode there as well, yeah, and if I hold A, gives it the same attack with his sword. Yeah, I think he has the exact same abilities. And that's fine, I guess, really. I mean, it's the same character. I guess we're not actually seeing Deathstroke in action as have in the DCU, we've just seen him in one scene and that's it, so how it's seen more of him. So it's no wonder that you use the same you know animations and abilities as a base game, Deathstroke. So yeah. But yeah, they really know for his design, not just in the, this game but also in the movie. Like his costume and like his appearance, he looked just like we did in the comic. So well done. Like that was so brilliant, yeah. Now, um, it, unfortunately, this version of Deathstroke does not talk, and I think they use the um, vocal effects, the same ones as Mark Ralston's Deathstroke in the base game. But I can say that in a movie, Justice League, which appears in the post credit scene, he's played by Joe Manganiello. And I must say, even though he's only played in one credit scene, I think he, he is definitely a very good Deathstroke. Like, uh, saying one line being, You better not be wasting my time. You know, that was a pretty good line by him, yeah. Sort of making me like the character. So yeah, um, when I see him in future films, he may probably become a favourite live action Deathstroke, but for now I feel like live action Deathstroke is Manu Bennett from our role. But you never know, maybe Joe Manganiello will, will eventually take the cake. This isn't, isn't also his first comic book role because his first comic book, book role was actually his Flash Thompson in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man films, yeah. So that was pretty cool, and Spider-On 1 and Spider-On 3, yeah. So that was pretty cool. But I think he is definitely a good Deathstroke, and I need to see more of him, definitely. Can't wait for him to be in sequels to Justice League, and hopefully in his own movie, I think he's been confirmed, all which is pretty cool. But yeah, they definitely nailed his design. He looked just like Joe Manganiello. So well done. I thought in how to unlock this version of um, Deathstroke, then um, pretty simple, we'll oh, just get the DLC, that's all you gotta do, yeah. Um, get the, um, just get the DLC and that's like you can um, just play as him, that's all you gotta do, yeah. <laughs> that is all you gotta do, very simple. So now we talk about what this version of Deathstroke can do in the game, we've also how to unlock him, let's take a look at his character profile and read it. Of course, not a Slade Wilson, a Slade Timberby in Justice League because he's a baddie, so... So just like the base game Deathstroke, he has Acrobat, Beam Deflect, Protective Mode, Goon Command, Crystal Rebound, Illumination, Grapple, Stealth, Technology, and Tracking. Okay. He's a camera that's like Stealth with Agent Smith. Where's Agent Smith? There he is. Where is he? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Gonna pause me? Or what? <laughs> there we go. This was profile. With his years of extensive training and experimental genetic enhancements, Slade Wilson is a highly valuable agent for hire. A smart, not a master of combat, Deathstroke is a ruthless adversary. The of heroes everywhere with his considerable battle skills only matched by his keen tactical mind. First period in New Teen Times issue 2 in 1980. So, um, will mark his 43rd anniversary of this year in 2023, but if we were to count his first period in the DCU, he first appears in Just Justice League in the post credit scene. So that's it. So, um, so this is me showing you Deathstroke from the movie DLC in Lovely Super Bowl. So yeah, be sure to give the video a like. Let me know in the comments what you think of Deathstroke from movies in this game you played, what you think of me in general. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And I will see you all later.